what's up? Welcome back to my topics. You already know what today is, period. So today I'm just basically freestyling or whatever I want to talk about. Love language, okay? I just want to talk a little bit about love language. Um, I want to talk about what makes what makes you happy in a relationship, what makes you smile, what makes your relationship pop the most. Like, what do you want your partner to do to make you like, like, oh my gosh, yes. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to talk about what, what makes y'all want to be like in a relationship, okay? So, um, I'm going to start with what I feel like makes me really want to, you know, really fuck you. Or really, you know, I just feel like, first off, you got to have your stuff together. I mean, I understand, you know, we all can't have our stuff together every time. And that's okay. But if you don't have your ish together, no, actually, you just have to have your ish together. I feel like that's the main thing in a relationship. Of course, y'all working to grow and to build each other up. But if you don't have your stuff together, it's like a, it's like a question mark and a lack. Because it's like, what are we really doing in this relationship? So that's one you we got to both be hustling. We both got to be doing what we got to do. Period, okay? That's one of my love languages. Another love language would be um affection, of course, because I'm very affectionate. Um I'm not sure if y'all can tell yet, but I'm definitely affectionate. I need all the love and affection and attention when I need it, okay? Period. Also, another love language of mine is going places like surprise well i wouldn't necessarily say surprises but what i would say is just every now and again just you know take me somewhere that i really like or just be like you know what free yourself today um we're going to go do this and this and i'm gonna be like yes yes okay so that's another one of my lang love languages and just having fun just making me laugh that's another love language. Like, if you can make me laugh, if I'm, like, if I can look at you and, like, be laughing, like, oh, my God, that's definitely a love language of mine. Like, I love to laugh. I love to have interaction with, genuine interaction with people and my partner. Now, if I can have a genuine interaction with you, it's just, like, the energy is off. You're not speaking my love language. Like, what are we really doing? Like, for real, what are we really doing? So, that's another love language of mine. And I feel like all of these love languages that I'm speaking on that makes me really attracted to my man or attracted to someone is that. Because if you don't have those, I feel like it's just going to be depressing. It's going to be not worth the fight. You know what I'm saying? So, we definitely got to have that. And if that does not happen... I'm just going to be out the door, okay? That's in any any specific relationship of mine as far as what I know now and me growing. I don't have tolerance for really nothing at this point. Because, you know, I know my worth. Once you know your worth, you're not going to have tolerance for certain things. But, yeah. So, yeah, those are my love languages. And those, what those really mean to me. Like, you being genuine, you can make me laugh. You can go take me somewhere where I need to be taken. Or, like, if I need to get away, you paying attention. You doing what I need. You touching me. You giving me affection. And you giving me your time. You giving me your love. Just me and you. Not, you know what I'm saying? Not nothing else on the outside. And that just makes me, first off, <laughs> that makes me, you know, you know the end of that story. But yeah, it just makes me so happy and so joyful. And I'm just going to be glowing every day. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. But those are my love languages. Comment below if you like this topic. Comment below um, if you ever have your love language. Um, what can I say? Like, touched or have someone spoken your love language before? Have they not? What happened? You know. How did it turn out, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. But I feel like once you realize and you in tune with yourself and your body and your emotions, you're gonna know what you like and what you love for your partner to do, and stick with it. Period. Point blank. 
But yeah, y'all, if y'all like this, y'all already know what to do. Go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss out on any other topics from me ever, okay? Peace.